Carter. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order. They must be able to ship 1,600 tons of depleted uranium weapons a day. That's, that's 166,000 Nagasaki bombs of radiation. It's 20 train car loads of DU going out of that factory every day. It's only one of four U.S. Army bomb factories. And all together, at all four bomb factories at any one time, they are allowed by the NRC to have up to 44,000 tons of DU on site. That's four and a half million Nagasaki bombs. Something is terribly wrong. These soldiers brought the depleted uranium home in their bodies, in their duffel bags, in, in their semen. They internally contaminated their wives and partners. The birth defects which the VA investigated in a group of 251 soldiers in Mississippi were deemed to be very, very serious in 67% of the babies born after the war and the, um, the soldiers' exposure. They were born with legs missing, arms missing, brains missing, eyes missing, organs missing, or horrible blood diseases. You can go to the live photo essay on the internet. It's called The Tiny Victims of Desert Storm. And you can see these babies born with birth defects with their families and with the children who are normal born before the Iraq War. It's absolutely heartbreaking. It's terrible. We we can take our country back. It can be done. But it doesn't, it's not going to happen with talk. It's going to happen with action. The Second Amendment, the right to bear arms, is there so that we, the public, if our government gets out of control, 